The college football player making serious and potentially very damaging accusations against a coach at Rutgers University. Now, this comes just months after a basketball bullying scandal on that same campus. Lindsay Zarniak from our sister network, ESPN, is on top of it all. Hey guys, you know, bullying in football locker rooms is really at the center of the sports world right now because of the accusations of Jonathan Martin against Richie Incognito in the Miami Dolphins. But new overnight, we're learning of another allegation of a Rutgers coach going too far with the player. Miami Dolphins offensive lineman Jonathan Martin faced cameras for the first time since leaving the team because of alleged bullying. I do not intend to discuss this matter publicly at this time. Now, a new bullying claim, this one against Rutgers University. This morning, news that redshirt freshman cornerback Javon Tyree has quit the football team. His family is asking that defensive coordinator Dave Cohen be disciplined. Javon, who is the cousin of Super Bowl 42 hero David Tyree, told the Star Ledger that Cohen called secure him emasculating football, names and threatened to headbutt him during a study Five hall session. He says the incident took place last April. The same month, Rutgers basketball coach Mike Rice was fired and the athletic director resigned for this bullying incident. In his first interview since, Rice told R. Robin Roberts he regrets the now infamous incident. You were a bully. There were some actions that were certainly that were bullying, yes. Now Tyree's family believes that Coach Cohen deserves the same discipline as Rice. His father, Mark, told the Star-Ledger, I really think disciplinary football, action should happen, away. almost to the point where he should get fired. Five That's how bad it is, fumble. especially hey, for the damage he's done back. to Javon. Well, certainly it would affect his self-esteem and it would increase uh, the risk of him developing depression and maybe something even worse. In a statement, Rutgers says the incident had been addressed immediately in April and that in September, the Tyrees agreed they were satisfied. Javon Tyree left the program on November 6th. Now, the reason Tyree ended up leaving the program is because he feels even recently he's been left out of team meetings, also that he's been passed over for playing time. So he essentially feels the bullying is continuing now in a different way. Dan.